your home for the Kentucky Wildcats. This is 27 Sports First. Well, the Kentucky Wildcats put on a show before holding off a late UNLV run to advance past the first round of the NIT tournament. But does it help ease the pain of a late season collapse? Well, not by a long shot. Coach Gillespie and his cats have taken a lot of heat from fans despite playing up to their ability against the running Rebels. The coach tells his team you can't listen to the outside talk. I've told them on numerous occasions, don't ever, ever let anyone make you feel bad about winning 20 games to this point, 21 after tonight, uh, or uh, falling short of what all of our goal is. Uh, the season's not over. We're going to play. We're going to do our best. They had a great attitude about it. Uh, they, they understand the reason that we're in the situation we're in, and uh, they want to they wanna rectify the situation. They took the first step of doing that tonight, and I think it's going to bode well for not only tonight but for the future. So the Cats awaiting their next opponent. Well, here you go. Creighton knocks off Bowling Green tonight, 73-71. Kentucky will now travel to Omaha to take on Creighton Monday night. The tip is set for 7 o'clock Eastern time, according to the NIT official website, and will be seen on ESPN. Well, according to Jody Demling of the Courier-Journal, the Cats have picked up a point guard commitment. Oh, yeah, a six foot four guard, Connor Tucker, out of Lawrence Morris College in Jacksonville, Texas. Tucker was in town for Kentucky's NIT win last night and committed this afternoon. Well, the Georgetown College Tigers had high aspirations of making it back to the NAIA Final Four. Only problem for Happy Osborne's Tigers is Central Methodist wanted it just as bad. Well, Eagles guard Matt Sherman was on fire from the outside, a game high 22. And he was going. Tigers fighting down low, though. Demetrius Guan spinning and hitting off the glass. Tigers up 55-54. They also found success with Maurice Pearson using every bit of his height to his advantage. Gatton gets the Tigers back within four, but Moses Harper, the jam, and, well, that was the nail in the coffin. The Tigers lose 73-64 and get bounced in the first round for the second time in three years. Well, the boys' Sweet 16 tipped off at Rupp Arena this afternoon. West Jessamine and Hazard putting on quite a show to get things going. Jared Polson and the Colts, well, how about this, making their first ever state tourney appearance. But Hazard in complete control in the first half. Josh Whitaker drives and pops. The Bulldogs led 30-24 at the break. Fourth quarter, though, Hazard had the lead 39-36. West Jess's Jonathan Rainer goes strong to the basket. Colts within one. Then the next time down, Jared Polson shows off the skills, the nasty crossover, and the scoop. The Colts never look back as Hazard doesn't hit a bucket in the last 13 minutes of the game. They go on to win 51-40. The final. It's a great thrill. It's great to win and everything else. But I mean, you get a chance to enjoy this after the Sweet 16. Unfortunately, I mean, you got to go to work. You got to come out here and watch the game. You got to, uh, you know, go back and, and look at the scout report and hopefully some tapes and, and just try to get ready for Friday. Because it's, I mean, you never know when this is going to come around for anybody. You know, I know great coaches and great players that never made it here. And uh, I told them to cherish it. But on the same point, you've got to really be ready to play. Well, in the second game of the day, Grayson and Adair County going head-to-head. -head. Grayson's Travis Johnson left all alone at the top of the key. You just got to count it. Adair County, though, with some nice ball movement early on. Darren Ballou to a cutting Cameron Merle, but it's the Indians losing in this one. Grayson goes on to win 45-33. First game of the evening session, it's Louisville Central and Graves County. First quarter, Central's Dewan Robinson drives. He misses, but U.K. football signee Ridge Wilson is there with the putback at the other end. Graves County's Cassidy McAlpin drives down the lane through the traffic. Yeah, gets the bounce and gets it to go. The Region 6 champs turning Graves County over here. Some thievery on the defense. Central's Tim Patterson ahead to Robinson. There's the layup, and the Yellow Jackets of Central hold on for the 53-51 win. And in the night camp tonight, Eastern and Corbin in action. Check out this. Off the inbounds pass, Josh Smith. With some quick thinking hitting Josh Crawford, the Red Hounds are up by two early on. But Madison Johnson showing off for Corbin, the strong drive, the floater, that's going to keep Corbin in it. But in the second half, Eastern just took over. Chris Dow from way out, twinkling the twine, and the Eagles knock off Corbin tonight, 75-61. to And that's a look at sports.